SBC TV here. We're inside the Bing Crosby building here at the Good Guy Show. And look what Brian brought. Hey, dude, what's up? What up, PC? Thank what's you up, for brother, out. man? Thanks PC for... in the house. Hit the subscribe button to PC Live. We brought the truck out today this weekend. Had so much fun. Cheryl came Friday and Junior came Friday. Sweet. Got to go on the autocross. TCI in the house. Thank you, TCI, for all you do for the car club. You know, mothers, all the guys, you know, doing great stuff in the car club, and you know, I really appreciate it. But this weekend was really special. We had a lot of young bloods come down, and we put them in the truck. It's so cool, man. I'm actually gonna sit in the truck for the first time myself. Well, yeah, we'll guys. On the front seat. Here we go, this is it. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, it's got that 383 high output, billboard injection. Wait a second, system. you say the two? 383. 383, okay, yeah. Look at this thing, guys. This is the SCC C10. Even got the customs on here. It's so bad. It's a really nice truck. Aaron, hey, you know what I'm doing? Knocked it out of the park. It was in the Battle of Builders for all you guys. PC, what's up, baby? We used to do this with Dano. We'd flip the camera over. We'll roll down the window. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm filming right right now. I don't okay. know either, but. There you go. <laughs> I never used one of these before. This is great. Right up, PC. I love Thanks it. Thanks for Brian. coming out. Thanks for repping the club. Thanks for always doing what you do for everybody. We appreciate you. This the Queen awesome. of the Streets is coming today. SA will be here soon. I'm really excited to get SA down here, hang out. The whole group. We got Mr. Oh, Wong nice. in the house. OC Billiards in the house representing Mr. Wong. What's up, if you need some, some gaming systems, some billiards, any pool sticks, go see Robert. Hit the subscribe button to PC. PC TV on. You know what I'm about to say. Hey, we got a good SCC, camera. SCC, bitches. You know, yeah, yeah. SCC, bitches. No. You know what I'm say this one right up. Here you go. Fool it around. I love doing this one. Sir City Classics in the house. 52 Wednesdays a year. Get you some of this. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. We're inside the Bing Crosby building here. It's a beautiful display cars out here. And Brian doing what he always does is talking to folks and letting people know all about the club and what we're trying to do out here. So, doing a great job as always. There's Bruce. Bruce, keep that thing under 100, buddy. Oh, yeah. All right. 113. <laughs> yeah, man, look at this little Opal over here. Got a 69 Opal GT, nicely built. Um, I always thought these were like a mini bed. And this is to me like the minivan. And then it's got a, I think it's got a little straight. Yeah, it's got, it's still got the four banger in it. The guys used to drop uh, small blocks on these things. But yeah, it looks like a mini vet, And that's what I really like about it. And there was a guy in Costa Mesa that actually converted one of these into a, uh, a Corvette. He, he just narrowed everything and, and made it look like that. But anyway, we're not too much time on this one over here. Let's look at this. Uh, I don't know if it's a knee knocker or if it's a... Uh, 65. Let's get a look at the door. Look over here. Yeah, this is a 65. Um, this is probably next to Brian's truck, probably one of the cleanest trucks in here today. Um, just, it's really hard to look at the bulkhead work on the on the uh, lines here. It's got great scratch on the battery. I mean, you know, it just it's really an exceptional piece overall. Um, it shows very well. I mean, this is a trailer queen, as you can tell, or I don't know. I could be wrong. It could be driven. Not sure whose wheels these are, if they're Schott's wheels or Boss or what. He's got wheel with brakes on it. And the other thing that Robert and I were noticing is the, the brake on the paint line. We really like where they broke the paint on this truck. It's kind of an unusual spot, and it works. And it works really, really well. Um, beautiful wood bed, all tied together. Being an LS then, he's also got a rear tank because he's got to have his uh, in-tank uh, fuel pump to run the LS setup. And so the last thing we need to look at, is that beautiful custom, we got to look at the interior. It's even got cup holders. And it is absolutely top-notch gorgeous in here. This is really a beautiful, beautiful truck, you guys. So, okay, moving on. We keep going. We got a van here today, old school. Love this look. This is what I grew up on in high school. And uh, there's music coming out of it, so I'm gonna have to kind of back away from it. Sorry about that. The 75 Ford, this is actually not my favorite van. I think I said it before, the Ron Cambras, like the 74 Tradesman 100. That's my favorite. 
All right, moving down the uh, row here, you can see there's just a ton of top quality stuff here today. I mean, you know, you've got a 36 uh, Ford. This is the slant back. Jerry in our club, he has a 37 slant back. And I'm gonna see if there's any major differences I can tell between his 36 and his 37. And uh, this is a really dope cool car too. Out of Nevada. Very good. This C10 right here. Come in. Gorgeous interior. Look at the drop on this thing, dude. This thing is laying frame, baby. She is on the ground. This is one that we were looking at earlier, too. The metal work and everything's just incredible here. So, hey, I'm going to wait for Robert and everybody else because I kind of want to do this as a group walk around. So, I just wanted to focus on a couple of uh, vehicles that kind of really caught my eye just right away. And this is being one of them. You know, me being a C10 freak. Looks like he's got a TMI interior. It could be that other one, but this is really, really nice. So this is the seating setup I think I'd like to have in my truck. And uh, dash, everything just done really, really nice. Uh, great bed wood. Obviously, he's back half. Probably running a full cantilever setup and everything. I'm sure this all lifts so you can get to it. And again, it's full frame layout. Probably like I said, custom back half. Yeah, very sweet. I look over here at this little T. You got a T bucket. Look at the work under here, man. This is the old school stuff. You don't see this stuff very much anymore. It's just not the style of hot riding that we have anymore, you know? These are these are the old school customs of the 60s and whatnot. Look at this, you got the injection set up on here. Look at this small block. I mean, and then he's got the brass lamps. But then a modern electric fan. Nice flame work on it. It's a 1915T. I don't think it sees a lot of road time. It's nothing I'd want to drive. Look at the steering wheel stuff. You know, you you really want to drive this? No, I don't think so. So anyway, yeah, she's a, she's a sweetheart. She got this in the front. A lot of these guys built these with no uh, no brakes on, and uh, just like dragsters. But yeah, he's actually got real brakes. So it's a good driver overall, I think. And uh, one more look at this C10 here, and we'll pick up later. Three window right here. Super clean again. There's just so much going on here. You just got to move through stuff. Here's a, I believe a 67 Impala. Yeah, it is a 67 Impala. You know, I love my Impalas. And it reminds me of my old 64 because it's the red with the white. And uh, but mine was a red and white interior. Again, very cool car. Got the sombreros on it. Overall clean, nice car. Fun. Always been the Impala guy. So uh, we got to walk over and take a quick look here at this. This is something you don't see every day. This is a international travel all, but it is an intra Raptor. So you travel all, and it is. Just amazing because what you're looking at is a 2013 Raptor inside and underneath. So what they did is they grafted this body. They had to stretch it 14 inches and they grafted basically this on top of a Raptor. So you even got the Raptor door handles in it. It's even got the uh, it's even got the anti theft. It's got everything done as a full blown 2013 Raptor wrapped in a 72 international body. I'm blown away by this truck. It's just uh, just something you just don't see. And it's an amazing build. I'm just, I mean, I'm blown away. Absolutely blown away. Let's look at the billboard real quick here on this thing too. This thing's scary sick. 
but yeah, just if you look at it, it's completely basically the guts out of the 2013 Raptor, and they just dropped the, well, they didn't just drop the body, they did an extensive, extensive work to this thing. Looks like this is a Packard right next to it. Really, yep, uh, 35 Packard. Guys, back here in hometown. Friends from uh, Prison Reunion. They're a couple Rat Rod guys, Mark and uh, oh, I can't remember his name, but he's on uh, some other videos from the other day. That's ah, beautiful Packard right here. This is the, the big saloon cars of the day. And I think it's a 35. And see, look at the trunk setups. They had all kinds of cool separations. You can put all your linens and or wines, right? <laughs> I was like, well, you could put clothes are wine. <laughs> Beautiful car. I really do love the lines of the car. It's very much a classic. And very fun. This is stuff in the mail. I'm going to take a look at this. You know, me being a VW guy, this is one of the more interesting bugs out here. Crazy chop on this thing. And uh, look at the look at the exhaust. You gotta love that. I, I don't know if that's just dummy or what that is. Definitely interesting though. And the fact that he took out an original deck lid or a, a hood and made it into the visor. That's also that's something you see every day. Um, the spider web work is great. He's got webbing the windows, and then he used a radial bearing center as well. I like the fact that you use that bearing like that. And inside looks like you can almost fit in the thing. It looks like uh, beard seats in it. Um, I'm not sure the dash is out of it, but it looks like it might be out of something early, like a 40 Ford or I'm not sure exactly. But yeah, cool stuff. And then over here we got a really, really nice two-door panel. I think it's a Suburban. It's a 47 Suburban, actually. Oh, see, this is the earlier one. This is like an old TPI set. I mean, this one's been around. It's still very cool. So there you go. Well, I think I'm going to head back over to uh, our camp out and uh, get with everybody so we can start walking around. Ooh, nice little angle here. This is a 48 Anglia. Very clean. Nice build on, beautiful scratch. And we gotta take a look at this. Look at this, man. Oh, look at that motor and this, that Hillborn setup and everything. Beautiful rig. It's all here at the Good Guys National System here. Pro Street setup, really beautiful. Got a lot going on here, man. He's got suspension going on. Look at that, he's lifting tire right there, baby. This is a, a serious throwdown car right here. Very, very serious. Not messing around. There you go. All right, uh, the main good guys giveaway area. And they got merch here. They got a ton of stuff here, man. What do you need? And of course, they got all the real high-end cars. I don't want to lose Robert. But yeah, dude, you want merchandise? They got merchandise. This is, uh, this is the big deal here. Okay, so I lost Robert. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? But yeah, this is like the, uh, the registration hall and stuff. I don't know where he wandered off to, though. It's because of me. It's my fault. Yeah, I don't know where he went. Oh, we got a lot of vendors here. Handless. Wow, look at this high boy. Beautiful. Amazing. Oh, here we go. I found him. Just chase him down. Let's just do a fast walk through here, though. Beautiful, Effie. This looks like a nice little uh, Ford Vicky. Oh, it's a Crestline Skyliner. Oh, wow. Nice little rat here. Keep on cruising. Oh, I don't know what this is, but I like it. It is an Anglia. A 63 Anglia. 
Very good. Okay, let's see here. Find Robert. Robert, Robert, Robert. There he is. I see him. Another beautiful F100 here. Let me go talk to because they said over by the yellow banner. Well, there ain't no fucking... I don't see any freaking yellow banner anywhere. All right, well, look at that hall here, guy. I'm going to go uh, follow Robert here. Gives you an idea, though. This is just one hall. And just, again, all kinds of amazing stuff. It really does. Guys, right, this thing is really amazing. Look at the metal plate in here. Look at that plate. And the lay down, Robert. Holy moly. This car's out of Arizona, 57. And they call it a Hell Air. It's a poster. So I'm not sure if it's a T. Sorry, so it's a T. If it's a T10. I walked right in front of Robert while he's trying to read. Nice Sputnik wheel, it looks like, on there. Killer interior. Hey, who do these seats remind you of? They look like the SCC 10, same kind of a style. The interior totally reminds me of the SCC 10. Let's see what we got here on the wheels. Yeah. And the other thing, too, is the way this thing is stands. I mean, it's another, it's just, just love a beautiful, good stance. You know that? Oh, that's the best. Yeah, that's <laughs> that. <laughs> Robert. Hey, I got Robert. I got Robert's chest. He's got, yeah, this thing's beautiful. Other. Anyway, get a look around the back of it real fast. There we go. There you go. That's the hell out real fine example here at uh, Good Guys. One more good shot over here. Now my thing is I've got ADD so bad I can't even not look at stuff. <laughs> well, these, these, you know what? That's all I can say. <laughs> no. Take a close look at the uh, injection. I don't know, dude. Right now, no, I'm take, taking it. take a close look at it. That's what I want for my. That's the Auto Trend DFI. This is insane. They look like the. Um, look at this heavy in here, you guys. They what look like the cards Buick? on my car, but it's the injection. This is a '53 special. Look at the wheels. We're never going to get into it going this right. No, that's what he said. You're going to be looking at this car for half an hour. Well, I can't spend. Look at the hard top on this thing. Freaking beautiful. Really, really nice. Oh, this thing, this is special. This is special right here. Wow. Look at that glass work. Those vents. Okay, yeah, we gotta get some food. But, and they, I'm just gonna go, yeah, I don't wanna lose them. Oh, and he got the pack with tail lights in it. Hey, I thought I saw this at Cruising, maybe. See, dude, this is a real common deal, putting the pack with tail lights in it. 57 pack with tail lights. And look at this heart stop. And this continent but they, so, they so molded the lenses. They say old sled, which is what this car, I guess, no, is No, they titled. made their own lenses. That's insane. Old sled, dude. This has got to be a $200,000 build right here. Easy. It's Mike that built the car. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> now, tell, me, tell us about it. Come on. Yeah, we've, been, we've been on tour for a good year now. Eight-year build. Eight-year build. I didn't even know about the car. And this is the first time I've actually yeah. seen it. Custom of the year for good guys. Uh, Syracuse, New York. We won the Gene Winfield Award. We won the D'Agostino Award. Uh, the Daryl Starbird Award. All in Oklahoma. Um, we've... Uh, pretty much cleaned up. In the car... It's like we were just, we were two guys marking a Robert, and he goes, well, we're going to go and get some food. He goes, yeah, I'm not going to see you guys for half an hour. He yeah. goes, you won't be, you, you guess you'll be here for 30 minutes on the car. Whose wheels? Who made the wheels? Uh, Jonathan Peace did all the machine work. So the wheels, the steering wheel, the side it's all fans, one off? the skew, it's all one off. Yep. Spark what about the Spark tail light Industries, jo Jonathan. Uh, the tail lights and headlights are 3D printed. They are 3D printed and they're yep. based on a Packard or? They're based on a Packard. The 57? rear tail lights are. The front are based like on a 32 lens. Okay. So they're very symmetrical. They're very, you know, kind of unique. But they do have the name and logo in you know. them. It's just crazy. So that's how you were able to do it with the 3D print. That's how you 3D print the lenses. Yeah. You know, I don't factor that. You know, yeah. you don't realize that that's what it is. 
The lenses are 3D printed. Yeah. So that's what, yeah. You know, build, building the car, you couldn't just buy anything. You know, when you're competing for some of these awards, some of these shows uh, like the uh, Detroit, you know, mm -hmm. the Grade 8, you can't just buy something and bolt it on. No, you can't. You've got to, it's got to be original. You know, a lot of people look at the, you know, there's a uh, 354 Cami green motor. The air cleaners, Jonathan made. Uh, those are throttle bodies. They're 2G. A lot of people will think they're carburetors, wow. but they have injectors inside. Correct. So those were a one-off design. That is an Auto Trend EFI? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I he want those the strong. Because he he's drooling I, over. I want those for my car, but I need eight. Dude, this of thing's them. so bad. Yeah. Well, there's six, and the injectors are inside of them. God, Mike. I mean, you know, because we were talking rat rods last time, and I know you're saying, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm digging the rat rods and everything, but then. Oh, I build them. I have fun yeah, with those. Yeah, dude, and then you pull those out of you. Yeah, I just. This is great, dude. It's really awesome. So, hey, Pro Design, they're aptly named. That's all I got to say.